Good morning. This is a quick overview of the VTO, the Vision Traction Organizer, and how you're going to use it in your weekly level 10 meetings. And so you'll see here this spreadsheet. This is the Vision tab of the VTO. So the Vision tab answers the first five of the eight questions that crystallize your vision your core values, your core focus, the 10-year target, marketing strategy, and three-year picture, all of those questions get answered in the first two vision building days. And as you move to the second page of the VTO, the traction side of the VTO, there are the next three questions, which is, what is your one-year plan? What are your rocks? And then what are your issues? And the issues are down at the bottom there. I'll go into this document in a little bit more detail briefly, but I wanna share with you how you'll be using it in the level 10 meeting. And so if you click to the first tab of this document, we have the agenda. So you can refer back to this. If you need any reminders or refreshers on the agenda, just walking you through that agenda briefly, you're gonna start with that segue, that's personal and professional good news. Then you go to the scorecard. We're just reviewing high level scorecard numbers. And so the scorecard is baked into the last tab of this document here. When you go to the scorecard, you'll have the name of who is accountable for each of the measurables. And each of the measurables have a goal, the number you need to keep on track week in and week out. These numbers for the week will be populated before you start the meeting so that when you're in your meeting, all you're doing is reporting on, on track and off track scorecard goals. And so this number is in green, it's on track. Numbers that are off track, you wanna flag in red. And if they're off track, you don't have a detailed dis conversation around that number right then, you just say drop it down. And it moves then to the IDS section of your meeting agenda, which is on the traction tab. And so any short-term issues, less than 90 day issues that need to get resolved, for example, an off track scorecard number gets moved to that section of the issues list. This issues list over here are greater than 90 issues. Maybe it's a new software system that you want to implement. Those are long term issues that stay in your VTO. And those are issues that you'll be tackling when we set quarterly rocks. So maybe that software that you want to implement will get turned into a rock in a subsequent quarter. And so we're going back to the agenda. After you've done your quick scorecard review, you then review your rocks. And so you're reviewing your rocks on the traction tab. These are the rocks. You'll have both company rocks and individual rocks that have an owner and you're just reporting on track or off track. If any rocks are off track, you again want to move those to your short-term issues list down here and you'll prioritize discussing those off-track rocks or off-track scorecard issues or any other issues, quite frankly, during the IDS section of the meeting. So that's your quick rock review. Then going back to the agenda, you'll give some quick customer and employee headlines. This employee did a great job last week. Let's give them a pat on the back. This customer, for whatever reason, we had a little bit of an issue with. If there's an issue, once again, you move that to the issues list, the short-term issues list, so that you can discuss it in the IDS section of your meeting. Looking at this agenda, then you go to the to-do list. This is recapping any to-dos from the last week. And so the to-do list is also on your traction tab. And so you did this last week, you did this last week, all those to do should be going to done, recapping what you were, what you agreed to do and what you're holding each other accountable to do from last week's meeting. And so in going back to the agenda, once you're done recapping that to do list, you then spend the vast majority of the meeting time IDSing your issues. IDS stands for identify, discuss, and solve. And so you're spending the vast majority of the meeting time looking at these short-term issues, prioritizing which issues do we need to solve first? And you can flag these issues and say, okay, let's, we need to solve this one. We need to solve this one. And we need to solve this issue this week. You prioritize your issues, you flag them and you dig in using the IDS tool to solve your issues. And so 
The vast majority of your meeting time is spent IDSing, solving your issues. Then you move on to conclude. When you're concluding, you recap your to-do list, which when you're solving issues for this week, any issues that you've solved are going to move to your to-do list. So XYZ person said that they're going to do this. That gets moved to your to-do list. And a to-do is a seven-day action item. Once you've recapped your to-do list, you talk about if there's any messages that need to be cascaded. If a message needs to be cascaded, it's also on the to-do list. I'm going to cascade this message to this department in the form of an email. Put me down for that to-do. That's a message that needs to be cascaded. Finally, you're going to rate the meeting one to 10. How did the how did you feel about the work you did together as a team? Hopefully you get to the point where you're rating the meetings at 10 week in and week out. If it's not a 10, share some feedback. Why wasn't the meeting a 10 for you? And what can make it a 10 next week? And so that's the agenda. This is the vision tab. This is the traction tab of your VTO. This is the document that you're going to be using week in and week out when you're running those weekly level L10s. If you have any questions, reach out, be patient, give it time. As you get into the groove here, this is going to be a powerful tool to help you run awesome meetings and keep you on track to move you towards your vision. Have an awesome day.